Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one, two, and three. This is a sensuous, juicy, provocative story about human evolution. It's for adults only. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that we are going to use today to look at your inner procrastinator. I promise you this is not the information you were expecting. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the burgundy and brown divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you from your inner procrastinator. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I am going to give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner procrastinator. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess the Me, and her message to you from your inner procrastinator is... Are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? The next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And her message to you is be accountable. The next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, let's get your own focus. Her message to you from your inner procrastinator is, listen to your heart. And the next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator, 
from Jenga Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is and we're going to focus here sometimes love means hanging on my collective intuition about your hand is saying your inner procrastinator wants you to stop listening to other people in terms of your dreams and your goals and what you want to accomplish in life you think that you are procrastinating because maybe that you're lazy or maybe you're not motivated enough or maybe you didn't write the right goals but your inner procrastinator is really trying to protect you from letting other your main concern is letting other people down more so than even letting yourself down like I don't want to disappoint my parents I don't want to disappoint my my teachers my mentors I told everybody I was going to do A B C D and E and I wasn't able to do it so what happens is your inner procrastinator and your and for you is she's not there or he this entity this this um portion of who you are she is there to stop you from going down a path that may not be genuine it may not be um the path you really want to take in your life so what she wants you to do is listen to your heart she wants you to listen to your heart so what if, what makes you happy what makes your heart sing what makes you do you enjoy dancing, singing, writing, drawing? What do you love to do that causes you to lose all time and space? What do you do that brings you joy and happiness and freedom? When you start to do things that really that you're just doing for you, you're not doing it for society, you're not doing it because you think you have to, you're doing it because it's what you really want to do. Your inner procrastinator said procrastinator says that the resistance will be released now it's different for different people but in your particular case that your inner procrastinator wants you to find what you love and you have the card from jungle beauty goddess um kalahari it says sometimes love means hanging on and this she what she's saying is and I think she's really talking about like something that you love. Like maybe somebody told you, oh, you know, if you start a YouTube channel, it's going to be really difficult for it to be monetized. Or you want to be a teacher and people are telling you things like, oh, well, you know, teachers don't make enough money. People are, you know, you know people are always telling other people what they can't do because the truth is it's not the vision for them for their life it's not what they are supposed to be doing but your inner procrastinator is telling you if you love it it's worth hanging on to so whatever it is that you love to do you need to commit to it and you need to be accountable and being accountable means that you need to set goals for yourself that are obtainable like you know, I don't know if you ever heard the saying that says how do you eat an elephant and I think it's like one spoonful at a time basically sometimes people create goals that are so huge that they can't accomplish them because when they really think about it it's like oh my god yes I do want my I want to go back to med school but I haven't even finished my you know I haven't taken any exams I haven't even enrolled in college so sometimes just think about you know what I just want to enroll in college I just want to take the GMAT I just want to you know make it through next semester and take two classes so the first thing you want to do according to your inner procrastinator is to think about what it is you love and even though people may have tried to discourage you people have tried to tell you that it's maybe you, they, don't, they don't think that you have a skill set for it or maybe they don't think that it's going to pay off but they want you to ignore that if you listen to other people they want you to use discernment and they also you have the card that says be accountable so your inner procrastinator is asking you to please not complain to um, not underestimate yourself to not blame others to not blame your situation to not blame your life but to have the ultimate faith in yourself your inner procrastinator wants you to have faith in yourself and in your dreams that is the primary message from your 
inner procrastinator. Like, you know, don't listen to other people. Follow your heart. Listen to your heart and hang on to that dream. Even if it seems like, you know, it's slipping away. Just it wants you to take on a tighter grip. Like, grip, like hold on. Hold on to your dreams. Believe in yourself. So, um, now I'm going to give you a message from your star alien being about your inner procrastinator. So this is your star alien being who is giving you your message from your inner procrastinator. I'm going to try to keep it in focus. So your inner procrastinator is one of the most misunderstood entities of human nature. It is so important to develop a relationship with your inner procrastinator so that you would know the difference between the voice of caution. This could mean that you are embarking on a horrible journey that is not in alignment with your soul purpose. Sometimes you, sometimes your, your inner procrastinator stops you from moving forward because you need more information. There are other people, there are other events, there's other factors that need to come into play before what you want can come into fruition, before you can make a proper decision. Sometimes your spirit guides and angels use the energy of your inner procrastinator to slow down a chain of events that could be life-threatening or to give the universe time to plan um, to align beneficial players, people, circumstances to help you reach your goal. Develop a relationship with your inner procrastinator so that you will know when you are procrastinating and when you are being asked to sit, sit still from when you need more information before moving forward. If there is a deadline for an assignment, are you procrastinating because you fear failure or success? Think of three to five incidents for each category mentioned. Like, are you, do you need to sit still? Do you need more information? or maybe this is not the right direction you need to go into your your star alien being wants you to think about that think of three to five incidents for each category mentioned write down how procrastination has hurt and helped you so that you can understand what is going on if the universe is asking you to sit still enjoy your time without guilt procrastination is your friend get to know her and she will release you from resistance so that you can perform a more important task. Ultimately, she is misunderstood and she is always trying to help you. So make sure that you understand the energy of what you're trying to achieve and what could be holding you back. Okay. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, darling, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, and as I was making them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series and so far I have book one two and three and the book series led to my jungle beauty goddess oracle deck which is based off of these beautiful dolls you see sitting behind me who are the main characters in my story in today's video the jungle beauty goddesses are going to give you some insight from your inner procrastinator thank you so much for watching hello darling if you selected the beige butterfly with the multi flower pink background this reading is for you from your inner procrastinator so first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner procrastinator the first card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you from your inner procrastinator is you are a timeless and limitless being perceived in this manner the next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayanai and her message to you is 
be unpredictable. The next message I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra. And her message to you is, don't ignore physical pain. The next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you from your inner procrastinator is, don't take your physical experience for granted. What I'm picking up from your hand is that you are not procrastinating. You are rejuvenating. You need to um, restore, replenish, rest. You need to plant root styling and take care of yourself. And so basically you have two cards from Katara. And Katara represents our root chakra and it has to do with our divine purpose. But it has to do with being connected with our plan and taking care of our divine plan. Taking care of our bodies. Taking care of our physical self. And you have a card that says, don't ignore physical pain. So anybody who's watching this video, if you have any type of concerns, health concerns, please 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 take it out you have, I mean check it out please go to the doctor please take care of yourself the other card that you have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess um, Katara from your inner procrastinator and it says don't take your physical experience for granted so you're receiving a strong message about taking care of yourself and planting roots now sometimes when we're talking about taking care of ourselves there may not be a physical problem but just sometimes we're just psychologically and mentally exhausted so we need to reconnect we need to replenish restore connect to the planet so I'm going to give you an exercise that I do when I feel anxious or when I feel anxiety or when I'm just drained and I just feel like I need to replenish my soul so what you're going to do is in a sitting position, I want you to, to to imagine that a red, a light is extending from your tailbone into the center of the planet, right? Like a light, like there's a long light and the light is in the center is a little hollow. I know this is, let's just go with me. So it's extending from your tailbone and this light is going all the way to um, the center of the planet now also you can imagine it as being a a root like this leaving from your tailbone and this what you're going to do is connect it's in the center of the planet you're going to entangle it or wrap it around all of the healthy trees the healthiest and mightiest trees on the planet I don't know if you can envision this. These trees are going to give you, and this, and from the center of the earth, they are going to send you energy. So what? Imagine. So now that you're attached, okay, you have your 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 um, tube or your light or your tail, however you want to imagine this, is extending from your tailbone, from your root chakra. You are connected to the center of the planet. Think of it like a spider going out, right? And now you're in the center of the planet and you're connected to all of the mightiest trees on the planet, right? Now, what you want to do while you're in this position, you want to look down in the tube and you want to say your full name three times. Include any nicknames you may have as well. So just whatever your name is, say the whole name and say it loudly and imagine it vibrating all the way down, all the way to the center of the planet, all the way to all of these trees, right? And they are hearing you and they are going to send you light. They're going to send you energy that's going to restore you and replenish you. So you're going to say your name down to this light, right? And it's it's um, vibrating out into the planet, into the earth, to the trees. The trees hear your call. They're going to send you a loving energy. It's going to come back. Imagine this light is coming back up through this um, tube, this light, this root. It's coming into your body. It's coming up through your tailbone. Imagine it filling your entire body, starting at your feet, 
all the way from your legs to your thighs, all the way through your body, right? So you're saturated in this beautiful energy that the earth has given you so that you can reconnect. And now you're going to imagine this light. It is going all the way up through your crown chakra and it's going all the way up to the central sign. So just imagine whatever, however, whatever the central sign, like, you know, however you want to imagine this, but it's as far as you can imagine, beyond infinity, darling. And you can imagine when you send this loving light that the, the, the earth has replenished you with, you want to send it up to the central sign. So they're, what they're going to do is restore this light, cleanse this light, right? And it's going to go to the central sign and the central sun is, imagine another light that's coming down. So the two lights are going to meet and they're going to intertangle. So you have one light that's going up and one that's coming down. And the light from the central sun is going to come back down through your, through your crown chakra. And it is going to fill your body again. It's going to go all the way through your body and rejuvenate your spirit and go all the way. And now you want to send that light down through your tailbone and send it back to the planet and to the trees because you want to restore them it's like an exchange they, they've cleansed you they've helped you and now you want to send some of that loving light from the central sun to the earth and to the trees um do this at least seven to ten days i'm guys i'm telling you that has pulled me through some of the most difficult times in my life just try it don't even uh, just try it uh, that's all I got to say so what your inner procrastinator is saying is that right now you may be trying to you think that you're stalling because you're um, you know because you're lazy or but but you're really just maybe in a state of I don't want to use the word confused not sure but you need to rest you need to take care of your body. You need to take care of your mind. You need to take care of your soul. You need to nurture yourself. This is a time of rest for you. And once you are able to um, restore your soul, you're going to be able to move into whatever it is you want to accomplish. But you're not going to be able to accomplish those goals and dreams until you first replenish restore and rest nurture yourself take care of yourself now you have a card that says um and this is the one of the main messages your inner procrastinator wants you to know is that you are a timeless and limitless being proceed in this manner what this means is you may feel like, oh my God, I have to get this done. You know, I thought I was going to graduate. I thought I was going to do this. And I thought this was going to happen. What they're saying is you're a timeless and limitless being. What is for you? No one is going to take it. No one is going to take your place in this, in this universe, in this planet. You have a purpose, but right now, this is a time of rejuvenation. Just like the seasons, you know, we have winter. This is the time. This is the time for you to, to really just take care of yourself. And once you take care of yourself, then you'll be able to tap into your unique gifts, your talents, your purpose, and um, everything is going to be clearer to you. So it says to be unpredictable. Whatever you used to do, don't do that anymore. Like whatever... You know, like, you know how sometimes people really try to motivate themselves and say, okay, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to, you know, exercise. I'm going to get on the bike. I'm going to do 45 crunches, crunches. I'm going to do da -da -da. Your inner procrastinator is saying, no, that plan, that, you know, I'm going to only eat, you know, beans and, you know, kale. And they're telling you to find another way. Maybe you don't need to go to the gym. Maybe you just need to go for a walk. Maybe you should just do yoga breaths. Maybe you should, you know, whatever you're doing, be don't don't do that. Take care of yourself and do something different. I hope this. I really hope this message, you know, resonates. Like your inner procrastinator is saying, you're not procrastinating. You need to restore. You need to rest, replenish. Take care of yourself. Connect to the planet. Connect to your soul. Um, once you take care of yourself and, and take care of your mind, don't don't push. Don't, this is not a time of pushing. What I, the spirit is telling me, 
this is not a time for you to push. This is a time for you to be still, to take care. But most, not just be still, but really take care of yourself. Drink enough water. Water your roots, darling. Take care of yourself. Now I'm going to give you a message from your um, your skull being, and it's a pretty quick message. And this is the message. Let me see. Can I? It's really kind of short, but you know, again, I want to make sure I get it right. The message from your skull being is. It is difficult to heal yourself in a world that is constantly pushing everyone for it regardless if it is for it into a wall or it, or rather it's it is on the right path so basically your star alien being I mean your skull being is saying look the world just wants you to keep moving they want you to go to work sick they don't you know they just want you to push 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 they don't care if it's if you're you know pushing yourself in a wall or if you're pushing yourself in the right path as long as you're moving forward and you know and there's this guilt when you are tired and when you don't um when people feel tired they feel guilty so it's like people say this is why people a lot of times people are on social media people are always trying to appear busy because the world doesn't support people rejuvenating and taking care of themselves People want to um, believe that you are working hard, being productive, chasing your dream. Um, this is why there are so many psychotropic drugs, uh, painkillers, and diseases and illnesses because humans don't know when to rest, how to rest, and how to honor the need for self-care and rest in other humans. Rest is just as important as movement. This is the message from your skull being. Rest is just as important as movement. So your inner procrastinator darling is asking you to replenish your soul, to take care of yourself. This is the time for you to connect your roots, water those roots. And once you are have replenished yourself, whatever routine you've been doing before that has been pushing you, this routine is actually not working in your favor you need to do something different you have all the time you need to be everything that you want to be i really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the burgundy and black divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you First, what I'm going to do is go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner procrastinator. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you from your inner procrastinator is bring your dreams to life. The next card I have for you from your inner per, uh, procrastinator. Again, we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire, who represents your third eye. She says, be innovative and turn your idea upside down. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you from your inner procrastinator is, no regrets ever. And the last card I have for you in your pull from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and her message to you is always do your own research now what is really your inner procrastinator wants you to know that you are not procrastinating you are waiting for clarity and insight and that you really need to go inward that is the big picture message. So basically, your um, inner procrastinator is telling you that um, you need to look at people who have accomplished the goals and dreams that you wish to achieve. 
and study them. This is a time for silence and going inward and using your imagination. This is all about, you, you put two jungle beauty goddess of fire cards, and she is all about the third eye. This is a time for waiting. There is um, connecting the connecting the dots. Like there is a piece that's missing. Something you, another thing, wait, let me, I feel like a lot of information is coming, coming. So let me just calm so I can calm down so I can get it to you clearly. So basically, what is coming to me is that in the past, you have the card that says no regrets ever. In the past, you've made some mistakes, you've done some things, and you you feel like your idea isn't working. Like maybe you feel like I put out like 20,000 videos and I'm still not making any money. I've done A, B, C, D. I did this, I did that, and it's not working. And the universe is saying, please, you are on the track you are doing the right thing things are going to work out you are divinely protected you there are just so many lessons along the way so let's say for example you've been you know just just going to use this because as a youtube as an example you've been putting out videos and you feel like your videos have not you know been very successful you haven't been making money from your channel the message from this hand, this could be for anything, if it's in school or whatever it is you're working on, the message from your inner procrastinator for this hand is saying that you are on track and you need to keep going. But there's some information that you need to acquire to move forward like there's a piece that's missing so everything you've done has gotten you this far you know how to set up your camera you know how to you know yourself you know how to get comfortable in front of the, the camera you know how to you know set up your lighting and your sound and you know what colors look good on you you you've done a lot of work even though the work you have done has not um it provided you know the type of success you thought it would at this point but you're still on track there's you still you're still learning there is a a dot that's missing there is something that you need to learn but you can't acquire this information from other people like it's because they don't have your vision they weren't given your like so you might go to other people and you might say um, I, I really need help with this assignment or with school. Do you think I should do this? They're not going to. It's not that they they're against you, but they don't have the internal information that you are looking for. The information that you're looking for is going to come from silence. The universe, I mean, is saying, don't you know? Use your time. Don't squander your time on Instagram or social media. Use that time to do research to go inward so that you can figure out what it is that you really you know want and what you really need to do and always do your own research because what they're saying is that the people who are in your life they are ill-informed they don't know what it's like they don't they can't tell you what to do to help your channel grow or whether or not you should go back to school they don't have that skill set they don't have that information you need to do your own research and one of the things to do is make sure you look at people who have what you want and to also to be still and to sit in silence because sometimes not sometimes child but a lot of times when we're quiet there's information that is downloaded to us but we have to be able to hear that information. And, you know, the universe was not speak over your, you know, the YouTube <laughs> channels or te television or the radio. It's a very quiet voice. So big picture, your inner procrastinator is saying, look, child, you are not procrastinating. You are, there's a missing piece. Please, you know, as opposed to, you know, utilizing your time, you know, maybe, you know, uh, social media or whatever the universe want you to utilize that time because it doing additional research so that you can have information so that you can it says be innovative and turn your idea upside down so you see what I'm saying there's some new information that you need that is going to help you continue to move forward on your path but you need to channel that energy 
you know, that wandering energy sometimes. Like maybe when you're tired and you go, I like to watch Country Wayne, child. Um, <laughs> so I'm on a three video diet now. Like, okay, three videos from Country Wayne and then I can go to sleep, but nothing more. Not a whole night of three hours. So basically the universe is saying to, for you to channel that energy into maybe looking up videos on how to improve your channel. Look up videos on how to, which school to go to, whatever your goals are to the universe is saying, you think you are procrastinating, you're not procrastinating, you don't have all the information you need. Everything you've done so far, it has not been a mistake. There, you should have no regrets. It has gotten you this far. But you need more information to flip your idea upside down. And when you are able to get this information, this is when you're going to be able to bring your dreams to life. So your hand is its just really awesome to me. It's just pretty much saying, always, you know, do your own research. Look, your hand is saying, look, girl, guy, person, no regrets. You've worked really hard. And all the information that you have acquired over this time has been because of your hard work. Right now, it may appear that you're in a rut, but you're really not in a rut. You're in a time in your life where you need to sit still, be silent, and go within. Do your own research. Listen to yourself. Listen to your own voice. Um, once you do your research, listen to your, you know, your inner truth, your higher self. This is going to give you the information you need to turn your idea upside down. And this is going to help you bring your dream to fruition. So remember, you're not procrastinating. You are looking for clarity and you're looking for the next step. So make sure whatever time that you're using, don't try to force yourself to say, Oh, dang, let me just go ahead and make another video. Maybe you need to look at how to make another video or maybe you need to get a new camera or maybe there's a piece missing that is the information that's coming in really clear from your inner procrastinator there is a piece of information missing where you need to do your own research and it's not going to come from the people in your inner in your circle they don't know and that it's something that you need to figure out yourself now i'm going to give you your message from your alien star being this is your Indian agate it is a really long message guys um, so I'll just just get let me I want to get it as accurate as I can because these messages come in so deep so the message from your inner star alien being well let me get the camera and focus here Ooh. All right, here we go. Procrastination is a misunderstood concept by humanity. Most people believe that a person is resisting from accomplishing a goal that is attributed to laziness and fear of failure or success. But the real reason most people procrastinate is because they have not given themselves permission to go within, to be quiet, to be silent. There needs to be a built-in time block for the mind to connect to the soul and the void of silence and nothingness. Where all of the answers to your questions lie, where all of your new ideas, unwritten stories, untapped talents and gifts reside, this is the place where most of societies prevent people from going. This is why you have this saying, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. This is pretty interesting. People, get you in focus. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. This is kind of, it's really kind of heavy, too. People want to fill your mind with items that prevent you from escaping their illusion of reality to building and creating your own dream and reality. You can't control, oppress, and manage a being who knows his own mind. Most people are putting off doing what society wants them to do people rarely hesitate to do tasks that are truly in alignment with their soul's divine plan when you find yourself procrastinating ask yourself do i really want to do this because i enjoy it or because i feel that it is something i should do your inner procrastinator is the mediator between 
your internal truth and your external expectations. Talk to your inner procrastinator and ask what it needs to release you from spiritual resistance. Thank you. This um, star alien being is really chatty. Sorry. And I, there is more information about other topics as well. Thank you. I appreciate you coming to assist me on this journey. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the lavender butterfly, this message is for you from your inner procrastinator. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition on the message from your inner procrastinator. The first card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is find another way to solve the problem. The next message I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi, who represents her third chakra. And her message to you from your inner procrastinator is, some people are simply not meant to be in your life. The next card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you for your inner procrastinator is your body needs fuel rest water food and exercise and the last card I have for you from your inner procrastinator is from jungle beauty goddess Kata uh, Kalahari and jungle beauty goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner procrastinator is let's see Love yourself unconditionally. The message that I am picking up from your inner procrastinator is why are you able to help other people but when it comes to taking better care of yourself, utilizing your time for self-care, you seem to make excuses um, you tend to, um, you have more time to help people who drain you than you have for restoring, replenishing, and helping yourself. That is the big picture message that I'm picking up from your inner procrastinator. So basically, if you are procrastinating, what I'm picking up is that you're the type of person who feels guilty when there's dishes in the sink. Because you, if, if you didn't do the laundry, if you didn't, if you paid the bill late, if, if everything isn't perfect, if you didn't um, cook dinner, if you didn't, you know, run the errands that you said you were going to run, if you didn't do the chores, if you didn't clean the bath, you, you, when you go to bed at night, you feel guilty if you don't feel like you earned your life that day. If you didn't, you know, you, you, you when you go to bed and you say, God, I didn't get a chance to do this. I didn't clean the toilet. Oh my God, I said I was going to do that. And then you feel really bad and you feel guilty. And your inner procrastinator is saying you, the reason that you have a hard time doing things that you really want to do is because you have let one, you have let other people drain you and you tend to, you have this card that says, yeah, from Jungle Beauty Goddess um, Chavi. Some people are simply not meant to be in your life. And what I'm picking up from your hand is that you're constantly doing things for people you're, that you have nothing left for yourself. You need to take time for yourself darling you really need to take care of yourself and so what appears to be procrastination this is a card that you have from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents our root chakra our connection to the planet to ourselves to our purpose it says your body needs fuel rest water food exercise listen your hand is saying 
you are giving too much of yourself away. You are helping everybody else. You are hard on yourself. You, It says you need to love yourself unconditionally. You know what this card is saying to me? Uh, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. The message to you. Love yourself unconditionally. If so, what if the dish is not wash? So what if the laundry isn't done? Who cares? You, you're what's, what's what matters. You need. You're too hard on yourself. It's like you are. You have so much inside of you to give to everyone but you. That's what the cards are saying. You give to everyone but you. You need to take time for that pedicure, for that manicure, to do nothing, to relax. But when you relax, you feel guilty. You feel guilty and you listen to other people and you let them complain and talk about their lives. And so when you have a moment and you really, you know, maybe you've been talking about going back to school or maybe you've been talking about, you know, doing your channel. Maybe you, you have these goals that you've set for yourself. And for some reason, the goals for you seem to take a back seat or you find yourself what people call procrastinating. Your inner procrastinator is saying, no, it's, you're, you're exhausted. <laughs> you're exhausted. And that you need to let go of guilt. You need to um, let go of expectations. You need to let go of trying to please people. You need to uh, let go of negative self-talk and blaming, you know, um, like self-blame. Being critical of yourself. Putting yourself down if you haven't, you know, cooked dinner. If you forgot to put the bill in the pay a bill if you didn't you know like you're listen guys whoever is reading it's you with your wonderful being your spirit is saying please value yourself and re let go of people who when they call you and they only want to talk about themselves those people aren't good for you your spirit is saying you really need to rest and take care of yourself and, and let draining people you know you need to let these not pick up their phone calls okay um, love yourself unconditionally forgive yourself let you know just so you don't need to earn your own love you don't need to earn the breath in your body like you're that person who feels like oh because I didn't cook or because I didn't wash dishes then I don't deserve to rest. I don't deserve, you know, no, that is, the cars are saying, no, you need to love yourself, take care of yourself. It's clearly telling you you need rest and exercise and that you need to love yourself unconditionally and that, you know, some people aren't, your hand is, you know, some cars I really have to think about, but this is one of the clearest hands. You're procrastinating because you're exhausted. So find another way to solve the problem is what, is what your inner procrastinator is saying to you and what they're saying is you need to really think about how first you need to take care of yourself and forgive yourself and you need to when I say forgive yourself like so what if you didn't wash dishes or do laundry nobody cares you don't have to earn you know your breath on the planet you know you are just as worthy as anybody else so you've learned yourself unconditionally. When it says look for another way to solve the find another way to, to uh, solve the problem, they're asking you to find you've tried before to maybe hint to people like you know I'm tired. Um, yeah, like you know how you, maybe you'll try to tell them your story or you'll try to. You know get support from them but that is always they're not there they're saying you need to find another way to you need to be more creative about creating a, a safe place for you to relax you need to maybe in the past you just said well I'm just I'm only gonna go with them for 30 minutes they're saying that's not working whatever you are doing to try to um, figure out how to get more assistance and more support your spirit is saying that you need to literally I don't know I, I don't really know how to say it other than just really just go within yourself maybe not answer your phone not you know maybe stay away from social media not contact people it's asking you to go within especially with 
Jenny Beauty got is a far more position third eye. She wants you to be silent so that you can figure out what you want. You can't figure out what you want because you're so busy giving to everyone else. That is the big um, message I'm getting. So you need to water your roots. This message has come up several times. People think they're procrastinating, but they're actually tired. And so when we're tired and we live in a world that is constantly pushing us to accomplish goals, like when you, when somebody asks you, what are you doing? You feel guilty to say nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, watching videos? That doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, what are you doing? Um, about to write this paper? What are you doing? Like, we don't feel comfortable saying, what are you doing? Relax and chillax and chill. Enjoy my life. I am relaxing. I am taking a moment for myself, okay? And one of the things that has been coming up quite a bit is that when you relax, give yourself at least 15 minutes of silence. No TV, no social media, just time just to connect with your inner voice or inner spirit. Now, I'm going to give you the message from your star alien being child it is a long message from your star alien being and we're gonna go ahead and get started with that oh, and i hope this i hope this really helps so make sure that i just um so just remember that your um inner procrastinator says why do you find time for everyone but yourself that's the main message from your inner procrastinator. Why do you find time for everyone but yourself? Why do you feel guilty when you're not busy doing things? Why don't you just love yourself for just being? Um, um, so let me just get the message from your star alien being here. It's kind of a detailed message. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Look at your life. Look at look back at the times you began to procrastinate. Was it your first book report for school? Sorry. Um, was it doing your math homework? Was it when your parents told you to go to bed? If you think back on your life and contemplate when you first started really procrastinating you will develop a deep sense of clarity and understanding about yourself, your likes, your dislikes, and your fears. Your inner procrastinator came into existence as a way to prevent or prolong you from doing a task that made you feel uncomfortable. Write your inner procrastinator a letter thanking him or her for giving you a respite from life expectations from other people. Tell them how you feel when you are distracted from doing things that will improve your life. Ask your inner procrastinator, what do you need from me to release me from my resistance? Journal your answer, take heed, and listen to the needs of your inner procrastinator. The better you take care of yourself emotionally, spiritually, and physically, the less you will be, um, the less you will be met with resistance from your inner procrastinator. I think this is a pretty cool message. So basically, your inner procrastinator is just really telling you, you know, that a lot of times this has been a really big message. When we're not in alignment with what we really want to do, we procrastinate. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.